You say homecoming hangover? You say Florida A&M is coming to town? Are they bringing their band? You're saying former head coach James Spady is on their staff? Find out what happens next on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Mayner. Brought to you by Protective Life, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and University Kia. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host this week, Ted Dixie. Coach, the bye week could not have come at a more opportune time. Yeah, we need it. Uh, we're kind of reeling right now. Uh, we started off well this season with 3-0, and uh, we lost the last three. And uh, really feel bad about that game last night. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, we had that game in control and didn't finish. And, uh, and so we got some guys banged up. And uh, so this... Our open week is coming at a, at a great time. We can try to get some guys back healthy, uh, get back to full steam. And, of course, it's the biggest game of the season because the next game and also it's the Classic. The Magic City Classic is what Coach is referring to in Birmingham, Alabama at Legion Field. Coach, coming to the bye week, you get a chance to reboot the season. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Uh, but we've got to keep going. We've got to keep fighting. Uh, we can get this win right here, the Classic, uh, get back on top of the winning season and uh, finish out. Uh, with a 7-3 record, with a win in the Classic, and uh, all is in loss. We've got lots, lots of interesting information for you. Coach Donald Hill Ely is a good friend of yours, Coach. We've seen you both on the COVID vaccine commercials here in the state of Alabama. What's it always like playing a good friend? Oh, it's always great, you know, uh, you know, opportunity to compete against a friend. And, you know, we talked last week probably three or four times, you know, and we talked this week and, and next week too. We might not talk as much next week, but we'll talk a lot this week. I think he might have a game, so I won't bother him too much. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll talk and uh, we have fun and, and uh, we'll, we'll joke around before the game. But, you know, for that three hours, uh, it's going to be serious. And of course, Coach, someone wants to know right now, what do you guys talk about when you talk that often? You know, we talk about everything. We talk about football. We talk about officials. You know, we talk <laughs> about our opponents we just played. And, mm. and, uh, and then sometimes we talk about our families and, uh, you know, he always joked about me playing golf all the time. So when he called me, like, get off the golf course. I was like, man, you know it's in the season. Ain't no no golf course. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> so uh, we just have a lot of fun. And, of course, we'll take a look at the Bulldogs game against the Florida A&M University Rattlers when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! I'm Brian Hicks, Director of Athletics, Alabama A&M University. I'm Connell Maynard, Head Football Coach, Alabama A&M University. Coach, are you ready for some football? I was born ready. So, get, get your, your season, season tickets, tickets today. today. Woo! The nature boy. In golf, if you make a mistake, there is a mulligan. Well, in God, if you make a mistake, there is mercy. Aren't you glad God has mercy for your mistakes? Hello, I am P.T., Pastor Troy. I want to invite you to come and worship with us at the Fellowship of Faith, where Jesus is exalted and the Word is explained. We love Alabama a &M. Go Bulldogs!
again, thank you for watching the Alabama and in football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Coach, in the first half, you come out the half, you got a solid lead, you said you're in control of the ball game. What got you there? Well, we really weren't in control of the ball game, but we had a lead. Uh, we got a great play uh, by KC uh, to scoop and score to give us the lead. Uh, but we was winning the game. Um, and we was playing well enough to win the game. Uh, but we came out and drove it down, and which we said we needed to do right. and was going to do uh, offensively. Uh, we're going to take it down and, and get a score and get control of this football game. And that's what we did when we came out. Uh, we took it down and scored. I think we got two scores in the third quarter, uh, two touchdowns in the third quarter. So we did what we want to do coming out of the half. We made the adjustments, uh, and uh, we took it down and scored twice. And I think they scored once in that quarter. So uh, we was in control of the game up, up 18. KC and Mosame, and of course, Coach, when you saw him get a scoop and score, finally it happens for us. Yeah, yeah, we 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 seen it happen too much against us, and uh, it was it was a pleasure to uh, see it happen for us. It was a big play on fourth and short, and uh, I I, I got to watch the tape to see who it was to hit the back end of quarterback, and the ball was on the ground. And of course, KC, we say when you're in space, scoop and score. When it's crowded, fall on it. And uh, he had space, so he scooped and scored. He's one of the, the many younger players we saw play coach, some due to injury, some because they're playing well and deserve to be on the field. Yeah, he's one of the guys that, uh, you know, um, we, we, we started him this week, got his first start, and uh, he played well. He had another opportunity late on in the game to make another interception, and it fell off his hand right into their guy's hand in the yeah, end zone. Yeah, that was a rough So that was a big play for him, but he played well um, in, in his first start. Um, um, you know, I made that switch last week, the first practice, when I seen somebody else in there, I said, hey, I thought I told y'all to put KC in. So, um, but he did a great job for us. Of course, a native of Atlanta, Georgia coach in the recruiting trail is something that you try to attack during the off week as well, right? Oh, yeah, of course. We, we got to get out there and, uh, and uh, hit the roads, man, and try to get some guys. We probably won't go heavy on the uh, freshmen. We're going to have to hit that portal and uh, get us some difference makers, get us some dudes. Uh, and, uh, and we'll do it. We got to get it done. Let's follow up on the transfer portal coach. When you're looking for someone, is it that maybe there's a coaching change at the school? Is there a more favorable situation when you try to attract a student athlete to come to Alabama and in? Yeah, well, you know, you, you got to do your homework regardless because there's a lot of people going in the portal for many different reasons. Uh, mm. Not starting, fell out with the coach, uh, just don't like it where they're at. Um, and so we want to see if they play. You know, I want to see the stats. Did he have any stats? Did he play? If he played, um, and then I want to see what was the reason why he left and uh, go from there. But we want people that played. We want people that got stats that played up there and not just – because everybody miss on players. That's right. Everybody miss on players. And we don't want a player that they missed on that can't play up there because, I mean, he probably can't play for us neither. Of course, Coach. And then <clears throat> looking around the, the league in the southeastern United States, how far do you think you'll go out? Your recruiting trip. Oh, we we go na uh, nationally. I mean, we're not gonna go to Hawaii. Or, or, we or, have had a Hawaiian quarterback, though. Big shout to Jameson Lee. Yeah, but we we <laughs> not we not gonna go that far. But we we we'll go up to Virginia, uh, Maryland, Baltimore, Washington area. Uh, um, uh, like we go to St. Louis, we got Oquil. You know, we go back all the way to Florida, and we just we we hit pretty much everywhere. We don't go out California too much. You know. Uh, that's a, probably how to be a transfer guy uh, that's from California or something like that. When we come back on the Alabama a and Football Review, we'll look at the second half highlights. The Bulldogs game against the newcomers to the Southwestern Athletic Conference, the Florida A&M University Rattlers, right here on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. 
Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Thank you for watching the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Coach, coming out of the second half and come down the end of the ball game, you know, one of the worst things that I get to do is call a touchdown for the opposing team. Yeah, well, you know, I, I hate to see them too, you know. Um, you, you don't want to see them guys score when it's late and uh, you got a chance to win the football game. Uh, but it is what it is and you got to do your job. Of course, coach, there are <clears> a lot of things that you can look at in the film and point to but what role would you say that coaching has when coming down to the end of a ball game to win? I mean, it just all depends. A lot of times uh, uh, coaches mismanage the clock, you know, or they time outs. Um, you know, make sure that you're in the right defense zone when you should, man when you should, blitzing the quarterback when you should. You know, you got to understand those situations, um, you know, like before the half. You okay. know, it was like, um, I think, eight, nine seconds. Um, you, and we went and we put our guys on the goal line um, because you don't want to play man right there trying to blitz the quarterback and they give them a one-on-one -on -one shot and they score with eight seconds when mm -hmm. you just play zone, make them check it down. They got one play and they got to try a field goal. Okay. So that's where coaching comes in uh, and down the stretch. <clears throat> of course, coach, you get an opportunity again. It's a bye week coming up, but how do you get off the hangover of a three-in-a-row situation? Oh, it's pretty hard. Um, it haven't happened to me uh, too many times in my career. It's maybe the second time, I think. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Maybe the first. But, um, you know, you just got to go back to the drawing boards, <clears throat> do the fundamentals, the little thing, get back healthy, keep fighting. You know, our job is, my guys, is to work hard every day individually 
so you can get better as an individual, we can get better as a football team. So we got a week, two weeks to do that, uh, get better individually so we can get better as a football team and uh, keep working. Like I said, the season isn't over. We're three and three. Um, we're 500 right now. Uh, we're going, trying to have a winning season and, uh, and win this classic. And so we got to win these last four. Again, seven and three, and uh, winning the classic um, isn't, isn't that bad of a season. So, and, and we want to send the seniors out uh, on a, with a winning season and uh, winning the classic all four years. Uh, wow. So we, we got three. Uh, we need to win this one, get those guys uh, four classic wins, and they can say they was undefeated in their classic career and uh, send them out on top. You know, we got them rings last year, and uh, they, they're the reason uh, we're where we are. They helped turn this program right. around. Right. Uh, we hadn't had a winning season since 2011 before 18, and now we had a winning season every year since those guys have been here. So uh, we owe a lot to these guys. Uh, they blood, sweat, and tears and help get this program turned around, believing in, in me and this program and signing with us and helping us get it going in the right direction. Thank you so much, Services Sovereignty. Now, Coach, you are very <coughs> successful in your student athlete, professional career, and also as a head coach. The big deal about winning a championship is trying to get back and win another one. So what's that road like when you basically you're sitting out the season and playing for pride? What's it like to get to the championship the next season? Oh, you, you, know, you know what it takes now. We know what it takes to get to the championship game. Um, and we know what not to do. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we can push the guys and they can understand. And the other guys that's on the team that's coming back can push the new guys. And, uh, and, and they know the difference now. They know what it takes. And, uh, you know, you don't, when you're the hunted, everybody's everybody after you. That's they right. get up. And I, I try to tell them guys that. Then we got to step it up. You know, we got to watch extra film and we got to get an extra lift in. You got to do some extra running and you got to be motivated. You got to be hungry. You know, a, as the champ, you got to be hungry to stay on top. Mm. Um, you know, if you want to be the lion, you know, the lion is the king of the jungle. You got to be ready to fight. And so, um, and we want to be the lion. Of course, coach. Now, the student athletes, when they come to you at this part of the season, some are asking for more playing time. Some are asking, what can they do? What are those situations like? Uh, do your role, because yeah, this is a good time to get kicked off the football team. Really? Yeah. Don't be late for nothing. Don't miss nothing. Don't get a bad attitude, okay? Because I'm going to take, if it's 55 or 60 players that want to play and want to listen and do their job, that's who I'm going to take. The person that got an attitude, the person that's been late, missing something, that's mm. showing that they quit and giving up. Mm. Okay, I got something for you. It's a called a pink slip, okay? We're not quitting. We're not giving up on this season. We're going to win these last four games with people that want to play, want to do their job, that's not selfish. Of course, that does show through. <clears throat> and you can tell now the coaching staff, you'll have a meeting today like you normally do on Sundays. Then what's the rest of the week like on this bye week? Um, I haven't quite decided, but it probably, we'll probably practice three days and be off three days. Um, it's just which three days I'm going to go with right now. Mm. Um, you know, we have a little, do a little something today. Tomorrow's day, off day. And then we'll probably come back and go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then give them Friday, Saturday. And then we'll come back with normal Sunday. Then they'll be off again Monday in this normal week. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I have not, pretty much I'm deciding on that, but I could change it. There's another thing happening about this time of the year, Coach, and that's coming close to the end of the academic semester. So what's the emphasis like for your student athletes on the bye week? Uh, actually, it's, it's good because uh, midterms start tomorrow. <laughs> and we got an open week, and so they can really get focused on their grades and right. do some extra studying and get some tutors and uh, make sure they get caught up in where they need to be uh, with their academics because that's what's most important anyway. Um, football is great, but, you know, you got to have that eight, you got to have that degree. And so these guys going to live another 70, 80, 90 right. years and right. going to have to work for those years, and uh, we gotta, they got to get that degree. <clears throat> of course, folks, get your – two-week break for yourself. That means no game this Saturday. And then we'll come back on the Alabama a Football Review with head coach Kyle Maynor. We'll give you a nice little preview for the Magic City Classic. Lots of entertainment ideas. And yes, we hope that you are vaccinated. If you're not, cover your face, wash your hands, make sure that you cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. We'll see you back here in a second on the Alabama a Football Review with head coach Kyle Maynor. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University. 
where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Bulldog fans, the Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition. During this global pandemic, competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama A&M Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this. But our students build race cars from the ground up. Explore wind tunnels particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm happy to be your host, Ted Dixie. Bulldogs next time on the field won't be this Saturday. That means we'll be 1-0 this week. It's the next week, October 30th, the Magic City Classic, Birmingham, Alabama, Legion Field. Right now, coach, I'm predicting that will be the largest crowd in classic history. I hope so. I hope, I hope you're correct. And uh, the weather's starting to change right now, so it's going to be a little chilly this week. And uh, and they warm up in the afternoon, so hopefully we'll get perfect weather, uh, mid 60s, yes, uh, low 70s, and uh, it will be the biggest crowd ever. I hope, hope, I hope so. Coach, there are some people right now that want to bring their fur coats out. I don't think they want 70 degrees. Of course, with all the hoopla that goes on with the classic, there's some extra time requirements on your team. You've got a banquet to go to. You've got different practice times, so you have to manage that the largest college football game of the year in the football championship subdivision. And of course, it's a swag game too. Yeah, I mean, all of that is, you know, playing an arch rivalry and, uh, you know, it's the biggest game of the season for not only us, but all the fans. This, this is the game they want you to win. They want you to win the Magic City Classic. This is what they look for. This is what they circle on their schedule. Um, they probably already got the, made the hotels last year. Oh, yeah. And uh, they'll be out tailgating all week long. Um, so it, it's a big, big, big deal for all, uh, Bulldog Nation. And for us, you know, we got to stay focused. It's like homecoming for us. We, you know, we got to try to stay focused, uh, be prepared, and, uh, you know, put all the side stuff to the side. You know, right. we, we, we'll be ready for the banquet Friday. And, of course, me and Elia talk a little smack. You know, that's what we do. And uh, it's all fun and games, you know, for most people. Uh, Fun and games until kickoff time. Yeah, yeah, and uh, then we'll we'll be back friends again after the game, you know. So, uh, but our guys, we just got I got to keep them guys focused, have them ready to play, and uh, put on a good show uh, at 2:30. And of course, if the kickoffs at 2:30. That means the pregame show may be heard on 90.9 FM WJAB starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Then, of course, coach, we will look at all those highlights of another Bulldog victory. And of course, yes, folks, this is what I call the terrible triangle challenge between you beat Tuskegee already, you beat Alabama State, you win the state championship. Yeah, that'd be great uh, to win the state championship. Uh, that's what you want to do. You want to play teams in your state recruiting-wise. 
uh, it gives you a recruiting advantage over those guys that, you know, uh, thinking about going to one of them other schools, uh, you say, look, man, we own them. We didn't beat them every year, you know, so why do you want to go play there? And you can go there if you want to, you can get your head beat in, just like they did the last two or three years. So, um, and, and then I, that's the way I talk to recruits, you know. You know, y'all know me, I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to tell you like you is. So, hey, go there if you want to, you know. I'll shake your hand after the game. I'll be looking for you. But those fur coats, Ted, they can wear those at night when they, when they really chill up and they go out to the club after they celebrate the victory. <laughs> they can wear those then. But we wanted to be 65 for the game, okay? We'll take the 65 degrees, folks. That'll do it for this week's edition. We'll look forward to seeing you. We will talk about another Bulldog victory on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Good night. Bulldog fans, thank you for joining us today for the Alabama A&M University Football Review. Bulldog faithful, we encourage your support and participation. Until next time, go Bulldog! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University, start here, go anywhere.